Kristen McGee is being sued for negligence because she was using a Snapchat filter while driving. And as a result, Snapchat's being sued as well. She was going 107 miles per hour while driving. She got into a car accident as a result. So, why is Snapchat being sued if McGee, an individual private citizen, was driving while using the Snapchat filter? It was her decision to use it. Snapchat didn't force her to. He decided to use that filter while driving in order to unlock a trophy. In Snapchat's terms and agreements, they clearly state, the company's terms of services specifically state, do not use our services in a way that would distract you from obeying traffic or safety laws, and never put yourself and others in harm's way just to capture a snap. Perhaps they should get super negligence, because it did not put a warning sign in the filter itself. Or did they? Snapchat says, we actively discourage our community from using the speed filter while driving, including by displaying a do not snap and drive warning message in the app itself. Hmm. So they do warn you in the filter it's saying do not snap and drive. So where's the negligence? It's like Apple or a network provider being sued for someone texting and driving. It's not their responsibility to ensure that you are following basic laws. Women with different hairstyles, women embracing their natural hair with cornrows and afros, which women are degraded for. She showed different shades of black women. She showed women being in charge.